let me give you an instance just like my leadership journey <clears throat> if somebody has offended and i have to apportion discipline to the person okay i always tell the leaders around me no hard petrol beg mm. a true father wants you to appeal for his children if my if i'm if my daughter has made a mistake and i say come here and i spank her I say yeah, add more add more add more i will stop and look at you what's your own that is what you look like when you come between god and his children the best you can do for anybody that is going through a season is to intercede but to stand and say we've always known he deserves to suffer <laughs> because in the first place you know, i want to say some things the fellow is going through that because we did not pray let me leave that are you following what i'm saying here all right very very important i want to show you practical all right very practical illustrations tonight very practical illustrations tonight um and i want us to pay attention to those illustrations okay there's a story a very significant story and maybe before i show us that story let me give a background of this subject for the sake of those who are connecting with us for the first time and do not have the privilege to be connected on sunday because of their various churches so i said on sunday that there are situations in your life where you experience literally is like one who can never find hope again i give an example of somebody who is called to teaching on sexual purity who has gotten pregnant out of wedlock it doesn't look like god can ever successfully use the person for that assignment let me give you this let me say this statement take it home anything you can boast of in your own strength god will not use you for it do you understand what i'm saying today that's why i know what i'm about to do tonight is a lot of work so i know god will help me because we need to correct the excesses of the apostolic ministry in nigeria if not it will not see another generation it doesn't matter how strong the movement is once pride enters it will die it will be corrupted then it will die do you understand what i'm saying here? very important you see when god uses you appreciate him for the opportunity but to feel that god is using you is because you are actually better or you are praying more than those that god is not using you have lied god used the foolish things of this world to confound the wise how that not many wise men were called not many nobles were called do you understand what i'm saying here say it loud and clear grace found me grace. look at the way you are saying it say grace, grace found me grace. it is not a work sir. it is grace are you following what i'm saying I'm, I'm starting carefully i don't want to go ahead of myself all right so i, I gave another illustration imagine a woman or a man who, who knows god has called me he's called me there's a call upon my life i'm about i'm to use my life or to teach the subject of marriage or to be one whose home will be a healing bomb that will flow to the ends of the earth now this person has married wrongly that is that looks like a cut down a tree that is cut down but the bible said that there is still hope for that tree even when it is cut down as long as the stump remains in the earth at the scent of water it will spring back again listen to what i'm saying listen to what i'm saying it doesn't matter the level of hopelessness you are in right now you are coming back somebody you are a young minister whether old or young you have made a mistake a sexual scandal is around the corner people are laughing at you you're a campus president a campus pastor you have impregnated a girl or you something your secret is out everybody's dragging you repent listen that's the balance all right confess to god repent make sure you get accountability but there's no devil anywhere that say god will not use you there's no devil anywhere that say god will not use you the agenda only stops when you throw in the towel when you feel you are too dirty for god to use i see god using the broken pieces of your marriage assembling them together and spreading healing to the nations of the earth and the next series i'm taking after this one is broken bonus mm. i see god mending the broken pieces putting things together and saying god is saying it is still you jonah god called you go to the he ran to tashish god said jonah will follow you i hear god saying to somebody i will follow you say god i'm dirty i've messed up myself can i tell you a story Catherine coolman before you began to hear about this coolman was the wife of a pastor they invited an evangelist to their church to come and preach coolman she fell in love with the evangelist and they both ran away and went outside ministry for years before she came back it was until she came back that you began to see this cool man you saw who told you you are now too stained for the use of the king of kings i am saying god has not changed his mind 
it is still you he will use those visions are still intact everything god said what he showed you yes you are going through a turn you have made a mistake that looks powerful to end it but listen the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous around him they are safe you are safe you are safe you are safe nobody else will better carry that assignment with humility like the one who knows what it means to fail yes and that's why god is not changing his mind so that you will not boast of your own strength okay he now needs you to go after your kind because you are many the one who recovers from the injury becomes the captain of those who are wounded and he will carry the anointing to bring them out i see god raising you as a captain one who is anointed that when you speak concerning the issue of sexual immorality you know what it means to be there and you can administer grace not judgment not condemnation you can administer strength and healing flows from the same place where you are bled where blood has flown i see healing i see healing flowing oh yes god is saying to tell you it is still you i will use i have not changed my mind i said god has not changed his mind that is the word of the lord god has not changed his mind oh praise god hallelujah please be seated please be seated i asked you if you were there the day nathan was delivering the judgment to david that you are the man david said the man who has done this and that's the issue they said him be pay sixfold let him this is let him be put to death and the prophet of god looked at him said david you are that man ah what will all these bloggers carry the end of an era the end of a colossus the fall of an elephant but except a grain of wheat first fall to the ground and dies it abides alone the falling is not your barrier it is a sowing is that okay now they thought they buried you but they forgot that you are the plantings of the lord you are a seed when you bury a seed you have placed it in the place where its destiny needs to thrive those adversity those tears those pain disappointment shame they are part of the necessary ingredients to make you a rock solid is that clear now i said is that clear yes, sir. god has not changed his mind he will still use you and anybody who has a query should submit it to the court of heaven praise god they caught that woman in the heart of adultery i don't know how you will catch a woman alone but because the person they caught her with is one of them mm. and they carried stone and they pursued her you will die but thank God she ran towards Jesus. Unfortunately, we have a generation that has successfully repainted the image of Jesus. That such women can no longer run towards Jesus. I have come to readdress that. That it's time to run back towards Jesus. There is no mess that is too dirty for him. What, what will you do? I say, ah, I owe you. No, he has paid the price. And Jesus said to them, let him who has not sinned be the first to cast the stone. Until then we found out that they were actually sinners. Wow. Those who have the loudest mouth were actually doing it and they began to throw the stone and the woman looked at jesus the only one qualified the only one qualified to cast the gator is now the one who has not sinned for we have not an high priest who cannot be touched but the feelings of our infirmity seeing that he was in all point tempted like we are but yet without sin so he's the only one without sin and that one said woman i condemn you neither go and sin no more you see you can't condemn people and tell them to go and sin no more do you understand that i said you can't condemn people and now tell them to go and sin no more because the strength of sin is in condemnation and that's why paul speaking to the romans in romans 8 1 says all right romans 8 1 sorry that thing just left my mind right now very popular scripture let me just read from my bible there is now therefore no condemnation to them who are in christ jesus say i'm not condemned, I'm not condemned. say it again now say it loud and clear I'm 